My name's Phil Plungers. I work for the Wild Dog Destruction Board um, from New South Wales Government and I'm a bound, what we call a boundary rider on the dingo fence, a maintenance worker. Oh, the fence um, is just over 5,600 k's long. It starts at uh, Yallada on the south, um, west coast of South Australia and winds its way through South Australia, hits the state borders, New South Wales, South Australia and runs along Queensland, New South Wales. Heads north just after uh, Hungerford and finishes at a little spot called Jandawi, just north of Kingaroy in Queensland. My name's Larry Johnston. I work for the Wild Dog Destruction Board. It's been two days of the week. I usually run the whole section, 100 k's. Each person is given 100 k's to look after. Purpose is to keep dingoes out of um, sheep breeding areas. So, yeah, so it doesn't decimate the sheep sheep industry. I've had oh, three or four kilometres of laying on the ground. That scares them. Come over the top of the hill and your fence is laying on the ground. Whoa, look out. <laughs> Most of the damage actually gets done by um, kangaroos and pigs. Um, dogs aren't really much of a problem. They'll pull at the fence um, or try and dig. If they can't get through, then they'll just give up. But um, yeah, roos and, and pigs, they if they want to get through, they will get through. Yeah, well, I, third generation, well, I heard that my grandfather did cut Mulga for another contractor to supply it when it was when it went from rabbit fence to a dog fence because originally this was a rabbit fence trying to block the rabbits from coming through. But uh, and they they go under the fence, not over them. So yeah, and they decided to block the dogs up. So then the grandfather he ran the fence on the Queensland side for a while until he retired, I think. And my father worked. Well, as a child, I was brought up on the Queensland fence from, from nappies right up to old enough to go to school. No, well, I'm pretty much, I am one of the boys. Um, I don't get treated any differently. Um, I, yeah, I'm not quite as strong as they are, but I mean, we all, we all work alone, pretty much. Um, if I need help, then yeah, the, I've got um, people either side of me that can come and give me a hand with anything. On uh, Monday, I will do a fence run west to Cameron Corner. Um, check the fence, any quick repairs I fix. Um, if there's a bigger job, then I just patch it and then organise what I need to come back and fix it up properly. And then, uh, yeah, Tuesdays, or well, two other days of the week are full maintenance days. Another day of the week I'll go east to the other end of my run. Oh, I wouldn't actually call it lonely, just yeah, well, the telephone's close enough. You can always pick it up and talk to someone. Yeah, oh, you're getting your low spots here and there, but there's always something that you know, gives you a laugh or something. Or... It's quite peaceful, really. I mean, you can sit outside, you see every single star there is. Um, you sit there overnight. I know I do. I'll sit at home overnight, just out the front, let, roll a swag out on the ground and stare up at the stars. And yeah, it's, it's mesmerising nights out here, beautiful.